I will be rebutting Logan's position that the ERA should not be adopted as the 20th Amendment because the title implies equal rights for all, but doesn't deliver, specifically to groups such as the LGBT community. Logan has also stated that the ERA doesn't specify protection for people based on race, ethnicity, or religion. While I agree with Logan's proposal that every gender and gender identity should have equal constitutional rights, the other categories are already covered by the 14th Amendment. I believe that the ERA could be interpreted in a way that would include all genders. The ERA states in Section 1, Equality of rights under the law shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or any state on account of sex. I found an area addressing transgender protection on virginiaratifyera.org. It states, with a new amendment in the Constitution, judges will be free to apply any numerous theories for interpreting constitutional provisions from originalism to structuralism and more. It also notes, in the context of civil rights cases, a majority of the circuit courts that have interpreted sex concluded that the proscription against sex discrimination prohibits discrimination on the basis of transitioning or transgender status. If the ERA is adopted as the 28th Amendment, it could benefit the opposition's request to have equal refer to all genders. Rulings made on the constitutional meaning of sex would strengthen the argument that the definition should include more than male and female.